presentation will describe how the AROA protocols are used to measure metabolites. Our focus at AROA Technologies is at the biochemical level closest to the phenotype. Generally, the size of the metabolome is smaller compared to that of the genome or proteome, making the biochemical content easier to measure and understand physiology. However, there are associated bottlenecks to overcome in metabolic profiling. The AROA tools were specifically developed to address these bottlenecks. There are two components to the AROA methods. The first involves using specifically designed cell culture media to label the complete biochemical content of a living organism with an easily detectable molecular signature. The second component is the software algorithms called Cluster Finder that can easily find and verify these signatures and even more importantly remove all artifactual peaks which currently confuse and lead to inaccurate data interpretation. Almost all living things contain two isotopes of carbon, carbon-12 and carbon-13. Generally, the natural abundance of carbon is approximately 98.9% C12 and 1.1% C13. Consider the molecule arginine shown here. This molecule has 6 carbons, 14 hydrogens, 4 nitrogens, and 2 oxygens. Given the natural abundance of carbon, each of the 6 carbons has a probability of 98.9% that it is a C12, and a 1.1% probability it is a C13. This means that in a mass spectrometer, arginine will have a base peak at 175.119 AMU and a very small peak called an M plus 1 at 176.122 that is approximately 6% of the base peak's height. The small size of the M plus 1 peak makes it generally useless for data interpretation. If the percentage of C13 is increased to 5%, note that the M plus 1 peak is now significantly larger, 32% of the size of the monoisotopic base peak, and can be easily detected and used to identify compounds of interest. Furthermore, if the C13 level is increased to 95% C13, the peak arrangement is now dramatically changed and the monoisotopic peak appears at 181, that is entirely C13, and has not an M plus 1, but rather an M minus 1 at 180. So if we put these peaks all together, we can see that these three peak classes, natural abundance, 5% and 95% can be easily distinguished. They are all mathematically calculable as well. This means that the cluster finder software algorithms can easily go through and identify if a peak contains natural abundance, 5% or 95% carbon. Furthermore, the 5% and 95% peaks for a given compound are naturally paired with one another in a way that provides a tremendous amount of additional information. As seen here, the fact that this molecule contains six carbons may be determined by the distance between the two base monoisotopic peaks and the relative height of the M plus one and the M minus one provide confirmation of this fact. This triply redundant confirmation provides a high level of accuracy. How do we generate and use these unambiguous chemical signatures for metabolomics? Like SILAC, the AROA method utilizes full metabolic labeling and cells are grown on isotopically defined media. And instead of labeling at greater than 98%, AROA is based on labeling compounds with C13 carbon sources at, enriched at either 5% or 95% C13 to create specific patterns. Any cell grown on such a media will effectively show a complete labeling of its entire biochemical content if it is allowed to grow for at least five cell divisions. 
All biological compounds will carry a distinct molecular signature, and these molecules can be distinguished from each sample set. Experimental, grown in 5% C13 media, or control, grown in 95% C13 media, as they have differing masses. Every molecule in the 5% cells will demonstrate a strong M plus 1 peak, while every molecule in the 95% cells will demonstrate a strong M minus 1 peak. After labeling, the 5% labeled cells may be treated with a stressor, say a drug, and because of these distinct patterns, may be directly compared to the 95% control in a single pooled analysis. Using a pooled sample dramatically removes technical variability. And during the data analysis, the cluster finder software can identify and remove all unsigned molecules which can be classified as either noise or artifacts as they will not have either a strong M plus one or M minus one. The removal of artifacts, usually the largest portion of the data set, is generally not possible in current metabolomics methods where the high number of observations increases the false discovery rate. Another important consideration when using the AROA protocol is that suppression is also removed as a source of variance or error as identical molecules labeled with either 5% or 95% C13 during the mass spec analysis experience approximately the same ionization efficiency and suppression. The AROA protocol enables compound identification. Because samples are isotopically labeled, a molecular formula for each biochemical compound can be determined. The cluster finder software algorithms can calculate the number of carbons in each molecule and then using both accurate mass and the number of carbons Compounds are readily assigned a molecular formula and identified. Generally, these compounds would remain unnamed. For further information, please see the section on Compound Identification. There is another way to utilize the AROA protocol that can be used when it's not possible to label experimental samples, such as tissue biopsies or field-grown plants. Please see the phenotypic experiment section to learn more.